hello guys welcome to my youtube channel rishi labs in today's video we are going to install oracle database express edition so before we start we need to check some installation prerequisites okay so first point is that there should not be oracle home and tns admin system variable on your local machine okay so to check that you need to click on windows over here in search and type system variables okay you you will get this edit the system environment variables and to select those option in environment variables in this first option you need to check there should not be oracle home and tns admin environment variable should not be present okay so in my case it is not there in case if it is present on your system you need to select it and click on delete okay so i'll close this so our first point is checked second point is there must not be an existing oracle database express edition service on your computer so how to check this you need to click on windows start in this type services okay one services are opened select any service name type o okay in this look for any oracle services is there since we are doing a fresh install oracle services is not there okay and close this so oracle service should not be present on your computer third point is user account must have admin access now how to check your user account is having admin access you need to click on windows start over here you can type user account okay you will get this option your account info select it so you can look over here in user account it is mentioned administrator okay so you are having admin access now i'll close this window so our three pre requisite of installation are done we have checked it okay so now we'll start with our installation process for that you need to click on google chrome or any web browser in search you need to type oracle xe but before we start i'll give you some more info oracle xe archive download okay hit enter now you can see the first link oracle xe prior release archive okay on this page you can find all the previous version of oracle xe like 11g r2 express edition they are still in use if you want to use or install previous edition you can go for it over here there is three setups uh, windows 64 bit 32 bit and linux 64 bit okay you can also download oracle database 18c express edition okay but now in today's lab we are going to install latest version so in go back in search over here type oracle xe okay and just hit enter now you will get the first link oracle database express edition click on it over here you need to click on download oracle database xe but over here all the details are provided we'll discuss about it later but before you start with the installation you should be aware that resources required up to 12 gb of user data hard drive storage should be there up to 2 gb of database ram will be used and up to two cpu threads okay so we'll discuss few more points about it but now you can start with the download oracle database xe once you click this you will get this three options links like oracle database 21c express edition for windows 64 bit okay you can also download for linux okay so we are going to download for windows 64 bit click on it you can look in the download manager or download has started since it is going to take a lot of time i have already downloaded the same setup so i'll cancel this it's there in my download folder okay so i'll click on show in folder once your file is downloaded okay now what you need to do is it's a zip file so you can do a right click and click on extract all click on extract 
so that zip file will get extracted on the same drive location okay i'll minimize this web browser since we don't need okay over here close this window so you can see another folder has got created all the extracted files are present over here okay i'll do the full screen now in this you need to look for setup file do a right click on it and run as administrator okay click on yes and this will start your setup since we don't need this i'll close the background window okay you will get a welcome screen click on next agree the terms in license agreement click on next okay you can change the default directory but i would suggest keep it default path click on next okay over here it is asking to set a password which will be used for c's system and p db admin accounts okay the same password will be set in my case i'll enter the password you can enter the password whichever you want okay but just remember in my case i'm entering 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay whichever password you enter over here you note it down so you don't forget it click on next click on install so this will take some time to get installed so we are installing the latest version available that is oracle database 21c express edition this oracle database edition it's a free version you can utilize it if you want to develop any software or test or you want to have a test environment you can make use of this software So this installation will take some time meanwhile we'll check what all features we get along with this okay so in this you can check free oracle database for everyone it's a free oracle database whether you are a developer or a dba database administrator or a data scientist or an educator okay if you want to explore the database you can make use of oracle database express edition so these are the system requirements you must have a 12 gb of user data up to it is going to use 12 gb of user data it's also going to use 2 gb of ram and up to two cpu threads okay now who makes use of this oracle database who can use it the developers okay who wants to connect to a database and test their code can you make use of this database as a backend to store the data and perform crude operations okay then the next is you can if you are a dba even dbas can use it as a test driven we have got a pop up do you want to allow public service public and private networks to access this app so click on allow so if you are a dba database administrator and if you want to test your code you can make use of this pre version then you can if you are a data scientist you can also use this database okay even if you are an educator like in my case it is being used as an educator so if you are a teacher and students can freely use this xc database as their curriculum okay so what benefits do we get 
in with this database is that no licensing cost you don't need to pay for it it is easy to install and it is a full feature database okay you can access all the features of it so now you can see in this pop-up it is configuring oracle xc database it is configuring uh, configuration of all the services is getting done okay so everyone can use this oracle database xc it is well suited to users large and small okay so startups working on a limited budget who needs to begin development immediately they can make use of this tool okay software developers needing to demonstrate their apps to customer you can make use of it so you can make use of this software as a backend tool for your application So we'll wait for this application to get installed. So our setup has got installed completely. You can see Oracle database installed successfully. You can click on finish. Okay. So now what you can do is you can check, click on start, click on services. So what we checked in the beginning of the video, Oracle services were not there, right? Now you can click on Oh, and in the services you can see oracle job scheduler oracle db11 oracle xc okay oracle listener all the services are there because our oracle software has got installed now go to all apps scroll down go to the oracle db1 Okay, Aura DB21 Home 1. Okay, in this folder, you can see a lot of applications are there. You need to click on SQL Plus. It's a command line interface. Once you have clicked on SQL Plus, it is asking for username. You can type in system, hit enter. It will ask for the password. In our case, I have set password to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Click on enter. You can see last successful login. It has punched and we are connected. So we have logged in for system to database. We have logged into the database with the user system. Okay. Now you can perform all your database activities. Okay. If you want to check, there is one you can run a select query just to check select star from dual. okay you can see dual is a temporary table you can see if you have received one row one column table select star from dual. so our database is working fine you can close now okay so our today's oracle xc installation process has completed you have seen step by step method okay i'll come up with the other series of how to use it how you can create tables how you can do a lot of the stuff with the oracle database so that's all for today thank you guys do subscribe to my youtube channel rishi labs for more